Good evening and a welcome to Compline on this beautiful Friday evening. As we always do, let's just take a moment to have a bit of quiet as we begin, shall we? O oh Lord, you will keep us safe and protect us forever. I'm placing my soul and my body in thy safekeeping this night, O oh God. In thy safekeeping, O oh Jesus Christ. In thy safekeeping, O oh Spirit of perfect truth. The three who would defend my cause be keeping me this night from harm. I call on you, O oh God, for you will answer me. Give ear to me and hear my prayer. Show the wonder of your great love, you who save by your right hand those who take refuge in you from their foes. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. Lighten my darkness, Lord. Let the light <coughs> excuse me, of your presence Dispel the shadows of night. Tonight we are looking at. I'm going to find it in a minute, I'll tell you. <laughs> we are looking at food for the mind tonight. Philippians 4, verse 8 says these words. <coughs> you do. <coughs> excuse me. You'll do best by filling your minds and meditating on things true, noble, reputable, authentic, compelling and gracious. <clears throat> the mind is so much like the body. What you put in it makes a difference in how it works. If you eat a lot of junk food, your health deteriorates. Similarly, if you put negative things in your mind, it acts like poison, killing your ability to have faith or live a life that is pleasing to God. Paul's admonishment of the Philippians is for you and me as well. Fill your mind with things that are true, noble, reputable, authentic, compelling and gracious. Such things affect your outlook and can empower you to be the best that you can be. Tonight, feed your mind with thoughts of God and the Bible. His nourishment will never leave you hungry. Romans 12 verse 2 says these words, Let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will know what God wants you to do. And you will know how good and pleasing and perfect his will really is. A prayer before we have a time of quiet. Dear God, fill my thoughts with fear. Feed my mind with excellence. Fill it with worthy thoughts of you so that my life will always be pleasing to you. Amen.
Shall we say the Lord's Prayer together? Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, and your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive them who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Christ with me sleeping, Christ with me waking, Christ with me watching each day and each night. Save us, Lord, while we are awake. Guard us while we are asleep. That awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in his peace. God with me protecting, the Lord with me directing, the Spirit with me strengthening for ever and evermore. In the name of the Father precious and of the Spirit of healing balm, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I lay me down to sleep. The peace of all peace be mine this night. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for being with me this Friday evening. Please do take care of yourselves and those around you. Let's continue always to pray for the Ukraine until there is peace again in that land. Good night and God bless you.